Hey y'all, today we are going to be doing our first segment of a new series where I am going to be sharing cheap meals or baked goods with you. Some of these are gonna be tried and true recipes that our family uses every day. Some of them are going to be recipes I haven't tried that I found from the depression era, you know, when things were tight. Uh, money-wise for families that needed to be fed and the point of all of this is to find and share recipes together that are low cost in this time of inflation that are filling and you know delicious and make you feel satisfied without breaking the bank uh, which is a huge part of my contribution uh, to the pr preparedness of our family. Um, I definitely focus on food and having that back stock and how can we feed us on a budget and maintain everything else in our life um, when times are hard and even when they're not. So. I'm really excited about this. I'm not sure what we are going to call this series yet. So if you have an idea of what I should call this, leave that in the comment section down below and help a girl out. Um, but today we are going to start with a tried and true recipe that we eat all the time. And that is sometimes known as poor man's meal but in our house, it's potatoes and sausage. Now, potatoes are the filler. Those are cheap, even cheaper if you're growing them yourself. Um, and filling, hearty. So that's gonna be the base essentially. And then you add in your protein, which is sausage in our case, but you can use different sausages depending on budget. Uh, a lot of people use hot dogs. That's kind of what I grew up with. And today we are going to be using kielbasa. So we're gonna jump in by getting our ingredients prepped and then we'll throw everything together and then do a taste test at the end. Today we are going to be using four potatoes. Uh, you can use bigger ones if you want. You can use russet, yellow. Our family's preference is red. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be using four potatoes. This will make about four servings, uh, which will be enough for us tonight. And leftovers, which I love utilizing leftovers for lunches to bring to work. It's a great way to save money. and fried potatoes and sausage reheats really well. So we are gonna prep our potatoes first, even though they're gonna be the second thing we add. We're actually gonna put our sausage in first, but for the purpose of cleanup and kitchen organization, I'm gonna peel them first. And potatoes are definitely something that I've been watching uh, for price increases and stuff because especially red potatoes have really fluctuated up and down the last two years I've noticed. Um, but right now they're at about 350 for a five pound bag. really can't wait until summer when we grow our own potatoes again because those are just so tender and yummy. I'm still working on the best way to store potatoes because I like to stock up on them so that I have them on hand at all time, all times. And so right now I utilize a five gallon food grade bucket and I put 
a paper towel on the bottom of the bucket and then fill it with the potatoes and put the lid on and it keeps them cool and dark and the paper towel kind of soaks up that moisture but you need to make sure that you change out the paper towel or it will cause mold to grow in there and then that would wreck all of your potatoes. Russets are good and I like them for french fries over red potatoes but overall my favorite potato to use is the red. It's just not as starchy and for me it tastes better especially mashed like I don't like mashed russets um, but it's definitely a cheaper option so when that's what you can buy, that's what you can buy and you make do, right? That's why there's seasonings. All right, so we have our potatoes prepped. Our peels are on this cutting board. I like using two so then I can walk away and dump the peels and then continue to dice these up. So I'm gonna dump these real quick. All right, and then we're just gonna move the potatoes over and start taking care of these. You can slice your potatoes, but we prefer to make them in cubes. I just think it's better because you have the crispiness on all four sides, but then the middle is nice and soft. But whatever your preference. This is definitely a meal that I ate a ton growing up to. Uh, so it is very comforting to eat potatoes and sausage. Reminds me of, you know, winter mornings. But it makes a great quick weeknight dinner as well. And I work late, come home, potatoes and sausage. Do your best to make them about the same size so that you have uh, similar cooking times and you can make sure that all the potatoes are cooked through and that they're not burned. All right, so we have our potatoes diced. We're gonna set these to the side. I'm gonna wash off my knife real quick and then we are going to move on to the sausage. All right, so we have our potatoes diced over here. Now we're going to move on to slicing up our sausage. Again, you could probably dice the sausage if you wanted. It would really get a lot more meat throughout the dish, but I like to slice it. So you can use any kind of sausage you want. I definitely recommend like a smoked sausage. And um, today I'm using Polaska kielbasa, but you could even use hot dogs, make it cheaper that way. You're just gonna cut them like that. I usually find these uh, ringed smoked sausages anywhere from three to five dollars. I try to watch for sales and coupons. Um, Hillshire Farm always has a lot of coupons for their smoked sausage, like save a dollar off of two. And then I stock up on it, throw them in the freezer, If you're a hunting family and you do like venison Polish sausage, 
That is delicious. That's the sausage that we used when I was growing up. My dad is an avid deer hunter. And venison definitely kept our freezer full. And just slicing them, you get a lot of sausage that way. So if you were to dice it, you'd really have a lot of sausage throughout the potatoes. A lot of people will dice onions and throw that in there as well. I don't have any onion right now, so I'm just going to use onion powder and garlic powder when we season it. I'm going to move the sausage to the side for this moment, and I'm going to wash these really quick. All right, we are going to get our burner ready. So we're going to have that at about a medium heat and put our pan on. And I like to add the sausage first because then you can render out that fat and use it to help fry and crisp up the potatoes. We'll end up adding butter to this as well because this won't make quite enough um, fat for the potatoes, but it's a good start. And we're just going to get it so all the sausage slices touch in the pan so they can get crispy. It's already starting to sizzle. This is actually, side note again real quick, um, this is a new burner that we're testing out and this thing is awesome. So I'm definitely going to be doing a review on this, but yeah, it's great. Might even be able to turn this down to low a little bit. We're just going to get that that rendered out of these sausage pieces and get them browned up a little bit. So we're going to let this go for probably about a minute and a half to two minutes. And then we're going to flip the sausage pieces, get them crispy on the other side. And then we'll add our potatoes and the butter and the spices, get all mixed up and then let it cook and blend together. I'll check back with you when it's time to flip. All right, so now our sausage is starting to crisp up and look really nice and brown. So we're gonna flip them. Right, and now that our pan is nice and heated up, it's not going to take long for the second side to brown. Um, it's already 
already browned on the other side now that we flipped those. We have some nice grease in the bottom of the pan and I am going to add about two tablespoons of butter. You can use oil too, um, like a vegetable oil, something neutral. You wouldn't want to use olive oil for this. Um, you do want some nice fat in there for the potatoes. So get that melted, toss your sausage in it, and then in goes our potatoes. And we're just gonna mix that around. It smells so good. It's just so simple. And it is very filling. And you know, I paid $4 for the sausage. About three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Your sausage is salty, so you have to factor that in. Um, but potatoes absorb a lot of salt. Onion powder, probably about a teaspoon of that. Pepper, half a teaspoon. And then garlic is a, probably a little over a teaspoon. Good generous teaspoon. And then Mix that up. And if you have spots where um, there's some sticking, you're just gonna add a little more butter. So we'll probably do a tablespoon and a half. But then that should be Good. We can get that seasoning up. All right, it's combined. Now we're gonna throw a lid on it, which I forgot to pull out. So I'm gonna grab that quick. Put a lid on, put it down to low. We're just gonna keep an eye on it. You're gonna stir it up every about two to three minutes. So yeah, we're gonna let this combine all of its flavors and let those potatoes get crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes stirring every three to five minutes, keeping the lid on to help soften the potatoes and it is ready. You can tell it's ready when the potatoes just like break when you touch them, like they're soft, soft to the touch with the spoon. Smells great. Turn off our burner. Forgot to get a hot pad, but you want to take it off the heat. You can see that some parts are browner than others, which I like. It adds a little bit of flavor, I think. Scoop. 
And you gotta go in for a taste test. So make sure you get potato and sausage. Obviously it's gonna be hot. Simple, fast, tasty, and affordable. Uh, like I was saying earlier, you know, the sausage cost me $4. A bag of potatoes, five pounds, $3.50. We'll round it up to $4. $8 for four servings. Probably a little more. So like $2 a plate. It's filling, comforting, and delicious. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if there's any recipes y'all would like me to try out. And also let me know if you have any thoughts on the name for this series. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.